It's January, where the Resolutioners come to play. They take your weights, they steal your gains. But not to worry, March is just around the corner. Get your very own Resolutioner tee at FuriesApparel.com. That shirt could not be more true. That'll be in the store for about a week or two. So either get yourself one or get your buddy one that goes to the gym in January and come March, he's all of a sudden got a lot of excuses. What's going on guys? Road to 500. We are back my friends and I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I took a month off. I recovered. It was great, but I'll get into all the details throughout this video. But first I wanted to show you guys one more teaser of the ultimate expedition. Back in August, I got the most amazing opportunity to go to Peru and try and climb a 20,000 foot mountain with people like Steve-O, Chuck Liddell. It was an experience of a lifetime. Here is the last teaser before the show starts on Wednesday. Just got to base camp with my buddy Gus. Woo! 10 mile hike to get here and we got the mountain, the summit right behind us. We're ready for a crazy adventure here. Are you ready? I'm stoked. The Ultimate Expedition on YouTube Red. Check it out. It's going to be a hell of a ride. Bam. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I cannot wait to show you guys this video and I cannot wait to show you guys the burrito eat off that I did against Chuck Liddell. That's coming this week. Anyways, back to the road to 500. Let's get strong, my friends. What's going on everybody? Unit training. It is winter time. It is super, super cold outside here in Canada. Uh, it's apparently on record the coldest winter ever. Well, maybe not ever, but like in a very long time. And uh, you feel it. You feel it. So when we got the heat rolling, just like that, it feels good in here. Gonna do a little squatting today. Let's get started. Got my Goku gains. Got a pup in the scoop. Got no time to to mix it up and enjoy it, so we're gonna raw dog it. Raw dog it. I don't need raw, raw scoop it, raw go cook it. Let me know the proper terminology for taking a scoop of pre-workout and just taking it down. Mm, mm, mm. So here's something I like to do. I always put on my sleeves. Um, even if I'm not using them, I just leave them on like this uh, before I start incorporating them because I obviously don't incorporate them at two plates. But uh, putting on shoes, here I'm using some lifting shoes. Um, it's just easier and saves you time. So you put these on, they can rest here. They don't bother you at all. In fact, they warm up your calves. Maybe it'll help me with my calf gains or something. <laughs> Um, but just put them on and then when you need them you just slip them on just saves you some time by not having to take off and put on your shoes over and over again but I felt pretty good I know it was lightweight but I like my depth I think sometimes you don't really know until you see the video afterwards but I felt pretty good uh, definitely putting on some weight Well, we just got done with Serbian Christmas. I, my, my tank of gas in my truck is almost empty, but 
we gotta fill it up. The only issue, the only issue, my friends, is one thing. That price right there. That price. 415 cents a liter. Um, is that the world's most expensive gas right now? I'm pretty sure it's 115, at least I hope so. I'm gonna fill up and then, and then see just what happens, because this baby, this baby, she needs some gas. We're on day number three of training in a row, which for me right now is an awesome thing. We got Diva, she's running. So in the zone, so focused. Only one scoop of Goku, that's what it'll do to you. She just, she does not care. She does not care at all, but anyways, third day in a row, of, uh, of training and like I said for me that's awesome when I was I was having a hard time training once or twice a week uh, in December and January came along and I'm doing it three days in a row feels great uh, mentally I just feel so much better and uh, I'm gonna push it and we're gonna just get straight right back into the road to 500 which is which was the goal and I don't give up on goals so head on let's do it got a little post-workout protein shake I'll be honest, I'm not a protein shake guy after a workout, but I'm trying to get into this mindset of just like, this is more just just for me, uh, personally, mentally, uh, that, you know, having that protein shake after a workout and just just feeling like, oh, you need to recover right, r really quickly. And this is, this is where I'm like, you know, all the years of bro size, all the years of being in university and everything, I, I would have a protein shake right after. And sometimes, you know, I would go to class right after and I wouldn't have time to eat. So a protein shake, very, very beneficial. But in my opinion, so many times where you don't have a shake right after your workout, it's not the end of the world. Um, in my opinion, uh, as long as you are eating consistently throughout the day and you have a meal, you know, not too not not too long after your workout, then you're good to go. You're you're still in a good boat, okay? You're still in a good boat. So um, I feel like as long as you are constantly, you you know, you are giving your muscles a chance to recover with nutrition, then you're okay. You know, in my opinion, when I give my body food all day long, and I'm a big, uh, I advocate or not even advocate. This is how my body really functions the best is by having consistent food all day long. So if I am eating, if I have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks in between or shakes or whatever it is, I feel like I'm giving my body nutrition throughout the day. And as a result, I'm able to constantly fuel it and recover it, especially if I'm training more often like I am right now, at least that's the goal. I'm hoping that's the goal. I'm hoping that works out for me. Um, then I am going to need a lot more recovery. I'm gonna need more nutrition to recover. I'm gonna need more protein and, and, and all that, carbs after workouts, and I'm just gonna simply need it. And um, I feel like when that does happen, when I am training very consistently and more often and, and, and aggressive, then having food throughout the day consistently, I feel like I become more recovered and ready for the next workout. I see myself, uh, having better gains and just recover more and this is just me personally from trying numerous different types of diets may not work for you it works for me and that's what I'm gonna continue doing uh, we got some eggs on the pan a little breakfast action a little bit of a late breakfast action I actually did some work today so I call this intermittent fasting so we're actually gonna do a high fat meal no carbs so we got some higher fat cheese Full fat eggs, or simply put, just whole eggs, and that's it. So just uh, so high protein, high fat meal. Um, that's how I'm rolling right now. If I am going to do a meal, I never just do high protein. Um, I think that's totally a waste. Uh, after a workout, all right, all right. You wanted to get in quick, whatever. If I do nothing but a high protein meal, I'm gonna be hungry in an hour. So what's the point of that? You gotta add some fats to slow everything down, all right? Those fats are like, all right, we'll take your proteins, but we'll digest it at half that rate. In fact, I feel like because 
fats, uh, one gram of fat is nine calories, and one gram of protein is four calories. By adding that fat, this only makes sense in my head. I don't know if this is true. Um, you're actually slowing down the process at a nine to four ratio. Isn't that genius? I think that, I think there's gotta be some truth to that. I know it slows it down. I don't know about what ratio or what speed, but a nine to four, that would be what, 2.25. So 2.25 times slower uh, digestion rate when adding fat. That's good. So the protein goes into your bloodstream, into your muscles at a slower rate, and, and keeps you fuller for longer. All right, I haven't packed orders in a little bit since we moved warehouses and everything, but I uh, had some prizes and giveaways that I did. Oh, here's kind of refreshing just to pack some stuff here because it brings me back to, oh, I don't know, put these on the ground. Sorry guys, your packages may be a little bit chalky and salty, but I am so excited for this right here in the next couple of days, actually tomorrow. I'm going to come and bench. Why am I excited? I'll tell you. I am excited because I'm going to max out once again. The last time I maxed out was in November. That is, it'll be almost two months. Now, as you guys may remember uh, or know from my videos, my posts, training has been shit. It's been absolute, absolute shit. And I get it, this video right now, as you're watching, you're like, oh, stop talking, do stuff. Well, guess what, this is the road to 500, and I'm gonna tell you about struggles, I'm gonna tell you about everything it takes to get there. And if there's struggles along the way, you're gonna hear about them. So, all of December, I didn't go heavy at all with bench. And I'm glad I didn't. I had the worst goddamn tendonitis right here, as you guys know, and it ruined me. Like, mentally, and obviously physically, and taking that time off was amazing. I have virtually, like the pain has decreased tremendously. And so I'm gonna get back into it and I'm gonna max out. And I'm expecting to be weaker, but I'm okay with that. But maybe I won't be, you know? Sometimes, I, I've had this in the past, a lot of people have had this in the past, you take some time off and your body recovers so much that you simply become stronger. So, I am super stoked for this, I'm excited for it, and I'm curious just how far I can push myself. Um, and that is going to be tomorrow, so between then and, between now and then, I'm going to eat a lot, I'm going to rest. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, that good, eh? Nobody will ever understand what it's like to own a dog until you own a dog. How awesome it is. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. 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 And of course, when I said I need to eat beforehand, you guys know the drill. Right there. Let's chow down. This, my friends, is the ultimate pre-workout meal. That's right. Well, pre, before the, before. I, I sleep, I eat, I sleep. That's what sumo wrestlers do. They, they, they eat rice, they eat sushi, and then they, then they go to sleep and then they wake up and they train well. All right, a little bit of a meal. Got rice, vegetables, chicken. It's a little Japanese style. And then uh, my parent, my mom actually got me some of this for Christmas. Um, just habanero mango hot sauce. I'm gonna douse that right there. I'm, uh, as you guys know, I hate my hot like super, super spicy stuff. I can't handle it well, but I love spicy stuff. A little hot sauce goes a little long way, but uh, I'm about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. I would say an hour and a half. Um, I can train in an hour and a half. So uh, I'm gonna train in an hour and a half. So Mel, hour and a half. Anyways, I'm gonna go train in an hour and a half. I can't go alone, uh, cause I'm gonna go heavy. Cause I want, so I want Mel to kind of spot me, help with a little bit of filming, because right now I've been doing this all vlog style. And, some of you guys actually really like that for this type of series and just, you get, uh, I don't know, a little bit more, a real feeling of, of what this is all about and it's not just really, uh, uh, you know, some people really go above and beyond um, with, with filming and everything and I think it looks cool, uh, but sometimes it's, it's really just acting and like it's very, it's not real. This is real. This is the real shit, all right? No, no, no bullshit, just real shit. And that's how I've been with this Road to 500 series, you know? We started off so well and then we took a dip. Now it's time to 
turn those engines back on. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna chow down, and then 90 minutes from now, we're gonna go hit up the unit and uh, do some bench. Is that time? That magical time. Mel, what time is it? Gym or gym or gym time. You can't talk, can you? Are you gonna do it again? No. You want a second take? No. I can I can light it up. Hey, nice hat. I can light the candle. If nice you want. dad hat, yo. Thank you. You can get it at where? FuriousApparel.com. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You you know where the link is. You know where to get all the goods. Time to pop a little bit of Goku. What flavor should I get? What flavor? Flavor flame. We have we have mystery bags here. Yeah, don't hold it still too long because they'll screenshot it. Yeah, you can't see the flavors because they're reversed. Um, but we got a lot of bags of mystery flavors, but I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna stick with Furious, which one? He, he, I don't think he cares. Uh, I think we're just gonna do yummy gummy gasms right now, simply because that's what I'm feeling like. So a little bit of yummy gummy gasms. I'm going to down it, down the hitch, down the hitch. And um, yeah, that's it. We have new flavors that will be launching when are they gonna launch, Mel? Do you remember? Not a single clue. Not a single <laughs> Again, again, you know, first I asked where we're going, she's like, I'm gonna go to the, the, the gym. And now it's like, what are the flavors launching? And like, you know when they're launching, you just don't wanna tell everyone. That's true. That's it. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, no, but we are launching new flavors. Uh, just, you gotta keep your eyes open. We're gonna be launching a bunch of new flavors, but we're gonna be kind of staggering them, not launching them all at once. Simply because just, that's that's the game plan, and you guys can't do anything about it. Okay, recording. We're recording, Meldiva. Wonderful. Um, this is my fourth set at 135. I'm warming up real good today, real slow. My wrists are. They're not cooperating today. Like they feel super, I don't know, what's, what's the word, achy? I feel real old today, put it that way. It just feels like, probably because I broke one of my wrists last year, uh, that has an impact on it. So I am wrapping up huge with the Furious Wraps. They are actually back in stock at Furious Apparel. So if you guys need a solid pair of wrist wraps, furiousapparel.com. But uh, I feel pretty good, like, especially like, if you get a nice warm up, that last set should feel way easier than that first set. So I'm just gonna jump it up to 225. Today we are maxing out. We wanna see, we wanna see what a month and a half, two months, two months difference between doing maxes is gonna do with literally like a month off doing bench press. So let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. So I moved. Uh, so I, I moved. I had a, what do you call this? Safety pin, pin, uh, rack thing. So I moved the rack thing from level seven to level eight. Um, I really should go to nine to be over 9,000, but then my, my. I was at level seven and uh, I feel like I was kind of wasting energy because I was lifting off to begin with and then I was starting my set and I feel like, especially if you're going for one rep maxes, you just want to take it off the rack. Yeah, this is a rack. I don't even know what to call it. Maybe adjustable rack? I'm, I'm not sure. Anyways, so you just want to take it off the rack, right? And then use your energy for the full set. You don't want to exert all your energy right when taking it off the rack, right? That's, that's something you just do not want to do. So. Uh, I moved it to level eight. I just wish I was at like, I wish we had like a seven and a half. That's what I wish we had. 
A seven and a half, that's all I'm asking. But, I do with what you got. That's why I have a spotter. I don't know. I'm like contemplating right now. I'm like thinking, I think four or five is next. I think I gotta do four plays. I know it's been like a big time frame off, but I feel like that's, that's just the way to go. Um, I know how my body is. Like, you know, when I was doing deadlifts and like maxing out, like I would add a, a plate at a time every time, you know? Go big or go home. It's not necessarily go big or go home, but some people can, um, you know, do more reps and, and, and do more volume. And some people just can't, you know? I mean, it's not necessarily, maybe it's how hard you push your body, but then again, like, if I start doing smaller weights, just keep going up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get tired. I also feel like I didn't eat enough today. I feel, like, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like I probably should have jumped up the calories way more. Note to self, jump up calories way more before training. I, I don't wanna have this mind, I wanna get into a proper mindset here. Like I said, I've said it time and time again in these videos. If you don't think you can lift a weight, you will not lift it. And I'm not doubting myself at 405. I'm doubting myself beyond that right now. So I know I can get to 405. I'm, I, I'm feeling pretty strong about that. Let's, one step at a time. Let's get to 405 and then we'll go from there. Let's get going. I'm gonna pee. Just one quick pee. You know what's crazy about all these machines, all the pull down machines, like <laughs> depending on the gym that you go to and if you do plate loaded, it's totally different. Like I'll do a hundred pounds um, or even more like 140 pounds. I'll do rope tricep pull downs at a gym. Here I'm putting 25 and 25 aside and like I can do 35 aside, but it's just like, this feels so much better. Like this feels way better. And it, as you can see, I have way more control and I don't have to go like, Ugh! Kind of thing, you know, and that's what you want. You want to keep your your elbows as tight to you as possible, and just let the triceps do all the work, right? And that's what we're doing here. You can imagine my my triceps are already pretty fired up from doing that heavy weight. So this is about just kind of like finishing them off. Doing this in Skull Crushers, definitely uh, two of my favorite tricep exercises. I would start off with this and then finish off with some Skull Crushers. So um, you guys may have noticed that my sweater is a little small and there's a reason for that. I'm wearing a large. I don't really wear an extra large, but um, it was a laundry day and my extra large was, was pretty smelly, pretty dirty. And then we had one of these that was sitting around. It was a large. So um, I, had to, I had to represent. I had to represent Team Furious, TF. I had to represent it at the gym. So it's a little snug. It's a little tight. You didn't get bigger. The shirt got smaller. That's what that's what all the YouTubers do online. 
That's what they all do online. Have you ever noticed whenever you meet a fitness YouTuber in real life, they look a lot smaller than they do on the big screen? That's the secret. Always wear tight shirts. Well, good news, guys. It's barbecue season once again. Let's uh, let's make it count. Uh, uh, all right. Ah, uh, yeah. Whoo. Okay. Then I'm gonna turn her on. She works. Oh, buddy. Let's get her going, eh? Whoo. Okay, let's see if she works. She doesn't. Ah. Oh, she works! She works! Woo! We eat it tonight now! Ooh, that's gassy. Ooh. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog right here with some good news. Uh, Friday, I went for a follow-up and I haven't been for a follow-up since September. So it was uh, a couple of nights of just uneasy sleeping night before I didn't sleep at all. And it's just something that, that'll always happen, uh, you know, throughout the, throughout the years in life with uh, living in remission. Um, and uh, it's always gonna be tough. It's always gonna be challenging. I'm always gonna be thinking about it, especially leading up to appointments. And uh, I got good news. Everything came back great. All my blood work, perfect uh, tests, and I'm good. Um, the only thing that's really low is my testosterone levels. Uh, it's, it's crazy how everyone just thinks I'm, I'm always on gear and, and all this stuff, and you should see my blood work. You wanna see my blood work? I can show you guys my blood work. It's, it's frustrating for sure. It takes a little while to recover from chemotherapy, and also the fact that I have one nut. I'm a one ball wonder, as they call it, so. It takes a little while to recover and that's okay. Uh, if in the future I need to go on uh, testosterone replacement therapy, then, then so, so be it. My testosterone levels can't go up, then, then that's what I'm gonna have to do because testosterone not only affects your strength and your gains, but it also affects your energy levels, um, your mood, everything. So uh, if they go down, it's, it's really going to impact my life uh, dramatically. And as you can see, like I'm, I'm pushing hard, I'm trying to get stronger, but that is a very big limiting factor. But at the end of the day, I have good news. I'm still alive, I'm still healthy, um, and, and that, that means so much to me. Uh, as you guys know, it's, uh, it's a crazy battle. And during times of stress where I start stressing out about work like crazy and uh, little things, well, it's not necessarily little things, but in the big picture, they are little. You know, if, if you're having a bad month business-wise, when you compare that to life or death, it is little, you know, it's not a big deal. Let's say you lose $50,000, you lose $50,000, you still have your health. That's way more important. Your life is priceless, right? And so here I am, uh, and I'm alive and well, benching 400 pounds, and I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna work so hard towards it for you guys. As long as you guys keep tuning in and continue to get stronger as well, I am going to do the same. We're Team Furious, TF, Team Furious, baby. We're dedicated for life, we're all those, and we will continue to get stronger and better. That's it, wanted to wrap that up right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for tuning in and, and continuing to support this channel and this series. And, and uh, all our companies, Fierce Apparel, Fierce Formulations, New Age, all of that. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. We'll catch you guys in the next episode, uh, which we will try and do every two weeks on this channel. And I'm going to try and do a second uh, Road to 500. Maybe it's going to be not as extensive as this one on my vlog channel, my second channel, um, every other week in between the weeks that I post on here. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you guys later. As always, my friends, you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, good games, and get laid, boom!